Hello there. Do you like riding bikes? Well, I do. And if you like riding bikes, you might find that you want to keep your bike kind of convenient in the front of your house or flat or wherever you live and be able to cover it with, uh, um, you know, bike cover. And they're quite expensive online unless you buy a really cheap one, which I did, and it was rubbish. So we came up with this idea. As you might know, cotton reels come in lots of different shapes and sizes. I think this is probably the most standard one, or possibly that. Um, that's a slightly thinner, longer one, and that one is absolutely ridiculous. Well, this is the one we're going to be using. And then with the ridiculous um, thread, I'm going to um, sew it up. And probably, uh, I mean, it goes over the, beyond the bike anyway, so I'll probably do the same thing at the front. Sew that up. Um, and then I have tried it on the bike. And then, you know, I might do something clever. Or might not, I'll just see how it goes. With the handlebars. We'll have a little look. We'll sew it up the size and then put it on the bike and see, see what we think. So, I'm just gonna It's very noisy stuff, isn't it? <clears throat> now, how much thread? <laughs> well, I reckon I'll go for double what you need. And yes, that's going to be a little bit of wastage, but not too much, hopefully. So, there we go, like that, there we go. Trusty scissors on my little pen knife. Oh, I love this knife. Right, I'm just going to start, start at the folded end. actually take two. I've already sewn the other end. But I thought I'd do another version with, you know, perhaps my face in the shell. <laughs> Don't put them in there. Now one, one trick with threading something like this is you just put the needle across it. Sorry. The thread across the needle like that. Then that sort of folds it and you can just about as you just about feed it through. Of course because I'm demonstrating it won't work. Or will it? Yes, it will. There we go. We've got bags of thread. And um, this is. It's not a ripstop nylon or anything like that. But it's, you know, it's a very cheap one. But I did check by just by poking through. I don't know if you can see that poking through and you can see that it is in fact woven. Right. You can see it doesn't really want to pull from side to side. Therefore it's suitable for the same. Um, if you've got something that isn't suitable for sewing, you want to use something like this, then uh, you know hot glue of course. Although I'm not as in love with hot glue but, as I once was. Partly because my hot glue gun is broken so that Spoils things a bit, but also I found that um, it tends to go a bit hard, and it tends to. Well, it's just really, it's just thermoplastic. is all it is, isn't it? Anyway, I put a knot in the end, and I'm going to use the old-fashioned uh, sewing trick and just sort of wrapping it a couple of times around your finger, and just sort of rolling it off like a bit, get some gription.
Well, it's not pretty, but it does the job, I think. Um, you can see the, the stitching down there. See the rain beating up nicely on it. It's a rather drizzly day. Oh, I've got to post a letter. I can't justify going out in the cart to do that, can I? Oh well, better go for a quick bike ride.